Well, boy, well, boys and well, boys. I think we should probably say something. What the fact that the fact that the Tenshi cast kind of treat Ke, you know Keone from Universe as a not canon, a not canon thing, and they just treat her like shit. Even though we all know in our universe, the Tenshi cast in our universe is a lot more nicer. You know, at this point, would it be would it be wrong of us if we just let Camille or Keone kill the rest of them? Like, I know you like act like we're. I know we ba- not act like, but I know we basically, you know, try to stop them. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying, let Keone do this. Let Keone or Camille do this. Boy, if Camille tries to kill Keone, then we're going to take him out. But I'm just saying at this point, if the Federation does appear in our universe, oh yeah, we're mud stomping them. There's no, there's no, it's not even up for debate anymore. They're getting the fuck out of this universe, either, but either peacefully or in a fucking handbasket. But for the rest, but for the rest of the, but for the rest. I've seen his little harem. Good luck, idiots. I'm not saying that all you Tenchi, all the Tenchi characters are bad. Because, well, because I, because unlike y'all, I'm not, because unlike the people in the Devil's Day Breaking Universe, I am not a, I'm not a tunnel, I'm not a tunnel vision fool. Like the rest of them. But I do think you guys are assholes on a whole different level. And whatever happens, happens. You guys ain't even our... Whatever happens to... Whatever happens to Santa's little crew in the Double Zeta Breaker universe, it's none of our business. You guys deserve... You guys deserve to get wiped out. Not every Tentacle character, but y'all... Because Santa, you're just a dick. Amani, you're a dick. The rest of you, dicks, just straight up. And we can just say that because literally, do I really do? I, do I feel bit like, like, do we feel bad? Love it. For Asha, Mel does. For the other chick that was in gets hell no. As far as I'm concerned, she can burn with the rest of them. I do feel bad that Asha went down. That I do feel bad for. Eh, it is what it is. You know how that old song goes, them cat girls ain't loyal. I know, but... It was still pretty fucked up. I get ya. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, dude. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yes, you're right. It is what it is. But still, boys, still. Didn't have to happen like this. Uh, yeah, but let's be real. This is probably gonna go down this way because, you know, everybody's either... Everybody's everybody's down and they're everybody's down when they're talking about everybody's down when they're talking about smashing. But when that smash, when that ability to smash is taken away, they all start talking about genocide sooner or later. It's like it's like literally the Double Zeta Breaker universe is the equivalent of people that can't understand any other emotions besides. Pure, unadulterated lust. Or semi-friendship, because come on. They're like, we won't hurt you, my friend. <laughs> I mean, to me, friend, friend to them is like, you're only my friend until you literally do something I find really stupid on a personal level, but I'm tripping about it because there ain't nothing else for me to do. 
It's one of those things. It's one of those things, man. I mean, if I have to be honest, it's it's really. I know Mel, you feel kind of a certain kind of way about it, but like at the end of the day, I just don't. I just literally just don't care about Cena and his bullshit or Camille and his, because Camille because Camille wants to try and destroy them, but we all know they ain't gonna get banned. They're gonna find a way to come back, or we're gonna see Seto coming back down, going ha ha bitches, I'm back. How's Redeemer Seto doing? Yeah, she's just chilling. I told her she's gonna have the rest of the day off. She's just chilling at she chilling at Dragon Shores right now. Wait a minute. So we get so literally, Prime, you can literally just give us vacation days. We all, since we're all members of the council, we can give each other vacation days. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. We're the leaders of the most, we're the leaders of the most fucking hugest council in the multiverse. You, you guys didn't know that we could do that? No. No, I did not. I mean, I kind of figured I, I kind of figured we could. See, the, the, that's just, man, I swear to God, guys, don't tell, you get, like, dude, I mean, so this was always a thing, yes. Then, then why the fuck do we always come in to work dealing with these, dealing with these yahoos? I mean, we only have like a set amount of vacation days. Come on, we can't just be going on vacation like all like 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 for extended periods. You know, we gotta we can, we gotta sit here just in case something happens. Hey, true. Anything about that Frankenstein motherfucker? I don't think he's that ugly. I know I know we all just joke on him, and go ha ha ha, but like man's got the like, the man's got the fucking diction of a child. Like, a literal fucking child. He's just... Cu the way he cusses is just like how a kid cusses. Uh, at this point, I'm just like... And Camille had Eggman lead his forces. Fucking Eggman. That man can't lead his way out of a fucking paper bag, let alone an actual fight between anybody. I like how he says he's the, he's the greatest scientific genius in all the world. No, you get beat by a blue head tog because yours, because your stupid ass has an ego. That's the real reason. But, you know, those in a breaker, um, Eggman is just Carl, so he, he said he was going to go home and, you know, Choke the weasel a little bit. <laughs> Man, that's gross. Oh, here's Str who wants to see who wants to who wants to really be thinking about Eggman strangling his pinkus? It's not me. Fuck, I don't want I don't want to be thinking about that. <laughs> see, they he's. he's you know, he's, he's Eggman, but he's still got that little bit of Carl in him that makes him, like, just the most the vile person. <laughs> I think that works. <clears throat> so, Megalo, you're like our science, science dude. It, do you think it's really possible whatever they do in this universe will affect our universe along with the others? It's a possibility. But that doesn't mean we can't, like, literally... That doesn't mean we can't literally stop it. Again, if they come to our universe, that means the door is just open. But we can push them back in our universe. No problem. <laughs> That's the thing. These idiots be thinking just because they got the Federation doesn't mean doesn't mean that they're all big and bad. In our universe, we're the biggest. We're the baddest. 
And we got more weapons that you can shake a goddamn stick at. Hovering in the fucking Andromeda Galaxy because why the fuck not? You know, I've always kind of wondered why we picked the Andromeda Galaxy to like put the put the space put the space space in. Well, I always thought this. I thought it was. A, I always liked the Andromeda Galaxy this time of year. It's calming. It's very calming. Hmm. Um. What else? What else we gotta talk about? I feel bad for what they did to Keone. Yeah, me too. Yeah, just because she's not canon doesn't mean they can treat her like shit. Exactly. And saying like the Grim Reaper, saying like the only person that would want her is the Grim Reaper, I'd be like, no. I kind of want her. I want her too. I kind of want her too. I mean, we're all kind of this. We all kind of related. Our grandfather is Lord Death, so you. I mean. You can I mean, you're kind of in the right ballpark. Truthfully, yes. <laughs> you know, I, you know, breaking the fourth wall for a minute, does anybody understand that we're, like, doing this in the double, talking about the Double Zeta Breaker universe? Like, does anybody really understand that or get that or really even understand? <laughs> no, I think they believe that we just have, like, actual weapons pointed at the earth or something. <laughs> Nah. Knowing knowing the people on you knowing some of the people on YouTube that stumble on these videos, they don't even really be thinking, they just be looking at they be hearing our voices and be like, What the fuck? Oh my god. And we're just like, bro, don't think about it too much and just listen. Can you do that? No, they're too busy. They're too busy mooning over from. They're too busy, uh, wanting the boss to constantly talk about Sonic every fucking day of his life. Like Jesus, folks. There are other. There's other bits of content on this freaking YouTube channel. Actually, try and look for it. <laughs> one dude was like, I looked at one of the comments. He's like, this one dude was like. Why did it get captured? Something isn't right. Uh, that's how it's set up. Okay, dude, just Jesus. If you got a nitpick about that, I mean, yeah, they could have spread that out, but they had, they had, they got a story that they wanted to tell, and they told it. Jesus, it like Sign Underground is kind of ended in a non-official way, but it's ended. Jesus. But it is what it is. We can we can stop. We can get off of the fourth wall for a moment. You know what really, 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 really sucks. <laughs> when people watch these videos, they just be like, they look at the they look at the title and don't engage with the rest of the video. I don't know. We can we can tell this like the big. The like we can tell this as like the Bugsy Council has a conference, and one person is gonna be like. Oh, that conference, oh, you're having a conference, and we're just sitting there going, you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna engage with the rest of this video, you're just gonna, you know, make a beginning comment and peace the fuck out. Sad. I don't know, the moment we start talking about, like, uh, other dimen other universes, I feel like a lot of people tap out. You think people wouldn't because of the MCU, and you think, you know, now that the multiverse is more of a commonplace catch-all phrase for, like, for, like, the average Joe now. <laughs> showing that, like, it's showing that it's all, like, the multiverse is only cool because people finally saw it in movies, and they finally got a way to sort of understand it. <sighs> but that's that's the average that's the average movie goer right there. That's the average Joe, the average Tom, Dick, and Harry. You know what I'm saying? True that. Guys, can we stop breaking the fourth wall for five minutes? I mean, yeah, but the wall, but the fourth wall isn't even a wall anymore. It's a nebulous void that I'm just poking right now with a stick. <laughs> 
Well, a metaphorical stick. But back to it. I really just feel like... I really just feel like, you know, with them, the fighting never ends. There's always going to be some person going like, Oh my god! I was Zeon, and now you all shall pay. Or I, or you, you took away freaking Seno. For now, we shall take you down. Or oh, or oh, I got my, oh my girls were taken away by freaking Sena. So now I must commit to genocide. It's just like, bro, y'all, y'all just be fighting for no reason sometimes. Y'all have reasons. But they carry over from other universes, and it's like, this universe is clean, motherfucker. How about you actually enjoy yourselves? They're worse than that stupid idiot Lorenzo. Fucking, oh, Lorenzo must talk about how, how his, how his freaking, how he's better than everybody else, and how he's wealthy. Motherfucker, we seen your house. You ain't wealthy. <laughs> I mean, I think all the times you've died, I think all the times Lorenzo has literally kicked the bucket and came back, he must have no more. Mo he must have no more money in the bank. Where does the money even go when he passes and then he comes back? Probably in a Swiss bank account somewhere. You think so, Mel? Probably. I mean, where else would it go? When it just be kind, of, when it just kind of sit, when his like assets be frozen on the time, on the uh, event of his death. You know, you got you got a point there. I think that would probably be it. Hmm. So literally, the man has no money, but he's still flying like he's the greatest. He's the greatest of all of us. <laughs> Do, 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 do. He's a clown that fucking sucks. Look at Lorenzo. We should kick him in his in. We should kick him in the old. <coughs> the old is out. <coughs> so, um. Oh my god. There was a Beast where the Beast Wars fighting game? Beast Wars Trans Metal. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, so it's based off of Beast Machines. I think it's based off of Beast Machines. <laughs> oh no. Fucking hate Beast Machines. Man, they all went to they all went to freaking Cybertron, and that's the end of it. We wish there was another one, but we know in our hearts that there is no other one. That Beast Machines didn't happen, and I swear to God, if that new Transformers movie talks about Beast Machines for five minutes, I'm gonna lose my shit. Dead, but guys, it's a Michael Bay. It's a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> You think that dude cares about fucking canon? <laughs> no, he probably doesn't. For damn sure he doesn't. Oh my god. Are we all gonna go like... Are we all gonna go... Are we all gonna go see it in the uh, multiverse theater? I mean, we got nothing else better to do. I mean, after this, I think... After all this, I think we should... After the whole Camille thing dies down, I think we should just go on vacation. Ah, fuck yeah. Actually, I'm thinking let's go to Dragon Insurance now and let's, surpri let's surprise, uh, let's surprise Redeemer. Sounds like a plan. <sighs> you know, I am starting to warm up to, to that version of Seto. Same. She's very nice. So, uh... Let's keep go let's go guys. Yep. Also I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need to relax a little bit after this. So Dragon Shores, here we come. Um 
Um, is the boss gonna look at the new footage of Sonic Superstars after our video? Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Peace, everybody, and remember, be safe and don't act like the people from the Devil's Data Breaker universe. There's more to life than than carnal pleasures and carnal pleasures and just just having power for power's sake. It's about the people around you. The people that always had your back. Let those people in. And let them know that they, let them know. And lovelies, let them know that they're let them know that they're there for you. Always. Let them know that you're there for them as they are there for you. Do what Camille could not do. Mo deal with that pain, move on, and try to and try to move forward with your life. That's what we're trying to say. You know, we should totally make a council says segment. <laughs> have our own little music. Like how they have like a Sailor Moon says. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we should think about it. We'll think about it. It's like on the list. See you guys later. Bye, folks. See you lovelies later. And, and also remember... Also remember, just don't be Camille. Or don't be Santa either. Like, don't be a cocky douche. Peace. Peace, and we shall all see you later for the next meeting. Peace.